Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlotthauer here in the home weather office with a U.S. weather forecast for January the 18th on this fantastic Thursday, 2024. In today's detailed weather discussion, we are talking about a huge, and I mean a serious warm-up for a lot of locations across the United States. The cold Arctic air is going to be departing, yielding record warmth. In many areas but we're also talking about the concerns for flooding for the deep south because we're talking a lot about rainfall on top of snowfall that has occurred in the last week this could really lead to a lot of big problems so looking at the latest european model for january the 18th 2024 for this afternoon and we can see where the snow is going to be located here areas in blue indicate snowfall areas in shaded green indicate where it's raining and of course you got some pink colors that indicates where there might be some freezing rain or sleet okay so going forward here we can see that that's where that storm is we got more activity in the pacific northwest that system is going to be falling apart because the southern fringe of this system is going to be impacting california friday night into saturday talking some gusty winds but for the most part for much of the u.s going to see some quiet weather other than the lake effect snow that is going to be accumulating over lake michigan lake ontario lake erie because that colder air that is going to be in place before it gets a kiss goodbye all right but the rain down here in california is going to really set up a huge huge weather pattern change all right are you ready for this Let's go all the way into Saturday, still raining in California, while much of the eastern half of the U.S. is looking at dry conditions. Going forward, let's go, this is for Monday morning. We start seeing that change happening over Texas, Oklahoma. No more snow, maybe some freezing rain, and that's about it. Maybe some significant amounts there, but look at for California, lots of moderate to heavy rainfall, some flood concerns as well, so we got to be aware of that. The very strong winds that can blow down trees, power lines, gonna be a big, big storm, a big soaker, we should say, an atmospheric river. So then by Tuesday late morning, you know, where's all the snow? Where's a lot of the freezing rain? It's gonna be melting away because we got a pattern change. We got warmer temperatures. So that means in the Midwest, even like Iowa, likely to see some rain by the middle of next week. And this continues with rain moving northward, even into Indiana. And look at this, even Michigan, you're gonna find yourself in some rain after getting some brutally cold temperatures in the early to mid January timeframe. And then there's more rain for California, of course, all the way through the middle to even the end of next week, while the deep south here is gonna have rounds upon rounds of moderate to heavy rainfall leading to flood concerns. I mean, look at that. Um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, if you're in New Orleans, if you're in central Mississippi, central Alabama, even the Georgia area, gonna get some moderate to heavy rainfall, some flood concerns, okay? And then maybe more rain, maybe for California by, again, Thursday and Friday next week as this pattern remains in place. Look at this. I mean, we got rain falling where there has been snow, so we could see some significant melting. And just keep in mind, some of the riverbeds as well, some of the water has frozen because of this Arctic air mass. And so you're going to see rapid melting of that. So we could see a lot of flood problems on small creeks, streams, um, urban flooding, street flooding just keep in mind about that we'll see about this system towards the very end of the european model but that's 10 days out so keep that in mind 10 days there's a lot of uncertainty we may or may not see snow at all up there so keep that in mind just because you see a snowstorm out here this far out does not mean it's a 100% chance. There's probably like a 1% or 2% chance of that storm actually happening on the European model for January 28th, 2024. Looking at the rainfall totals for the next 10 days, again, these could change quite significantly, but based on the latest model run, there could be a lot of rainfall accumulation between about four to six inches of rain down here for the deep south along the Gulf Coast. So the chances of flooding are definitely increasing each and every day. You have had quite a bit of rainfall, especially for Georgia, the Carolinas lately, and you're gonna get more coming the next 10 days. 
Also, the chances for flooding and some small stream river flooding with some mudslides potentially over California because we have that atmospheric river of moisture that's going to be impacting. And then, of course, over Washington, you might see as much as 8 to 10 inches of rainfall um, and maybe in the form of snow as well for the highest peaks. So yeah, turning very wet across the wet, uh, the west, especially California, Oregon, and Washington, while the midsection here, like the high plains, going to have limited moisture, uh, while the southeast has a lot more rainfall. Even for the northeast, you might see about an inch to a couple of inches in the next 10 days. How about snowfall totals? Well, when we take a look at that, for the lake effect areas, okay, just keep in mind, if you get lake effect snow, you're prone to it. These numbers don't really matter a whole lot. You might get two to four feet of additional snowfall. Whereas um, would we get any winter storm that happens, um, you might get anywhere between five to seven inches. It's not really driven by lake effect snow. So in this case, if we looked, uh, let's just look at the ensemble, right? I don't want to kind of overdo things here. So on the European ensemble for the next 10 days, uh, you might see as much as two to five inches of snow. For the Great Lakes area, some of the localized areas might see as much as six to nine inches of lake effect snow. For the mountains of the Sierra of California and the Cascades, you might see as much as 12 to 18 inches of snowfall, but really limited here as far as a 10 day forecast goes on the ensemble, really not looking at a whole lot in the valley locations, whereas the higher elevations, because it's colder, you're likely to see the most snow. But uh, once again, nothing here for the deep south. So get used to seeing rain, folks. No more snow, no more ice, no more sleet, and even no more cooler temperatures. Rainfall anomalies, definitely above average. Look at all this green that you see and blue colors really uh, delicate to well above average anomaly precipitation. Okay, so this is above climatology. If you're in the green, the blues, if you're in the brown colors, it's below average in climatology terms. So like Maine, as well as against some of the Northern Rockies here might have below average rainfall amounts or snow in this case, right, over the next 10 days. Whereas California will likely have above average and also for Oregon and Washington for the Cascades there, likely to receive above average precipitation per 10 days in this forecast, okay? But when it comes to the temperature anomaly forecast, there is a huge pattern change coming, folks. You don't know how big it's going to be until I show you here. We're talking a big warm up for the Midwest, for the Northern Plains, including for the uh, Northern Great Lakes, the Upper Midwest. It'd be a huge different story, folks. You guys have seen temperatures negative 20 to negative 30 in some areas. Well, you might not even see temperatures near freezing for many locations after you see this video. Yeah, it's gonna be a huge warm up, okay? Big pattern change coming. So let's go forward, right? Big Arctic air mass into early next week. So we know Monday is a transition day. I think we're going to see things really start to warm up. We have one more blast of air coming down out of Canada now. It's going to bring in another renewed area of Arctic temperatures. But after that leaves, it's going to really warm up and you'll see that. Okay. So by Tuesday and Wednesday next week, look at the one day average temperature anomaly mean here. Definitely above average for much of the United States. Goodbye, cold air. Welcome the warmth that is going to be moving across much of the east. Look at this. Temperatures in the southeast could be 20 degrees above normal. If you're up there in portions of Saskatchewan, as well as, say, Manitoba, Quebec, Ontario, the southern portion there, could have temperatures almost 25 degrees above normal in a one-day average. And this continues. Look at this. I mean, look huge change huge change okay we're looking at uh 10 days 10 and 11 to being the furthest above average for portions of the the dakotas might see temperatures almost 30 degrees above normal that is insane okay like record high temperatures potentially could be um dealt with here and then by the very end of the forecast with um cooling for the east coast because of a near neutral to still slightly positive to even negative AO and NAO is gonna really lead to still very warm temperatures for this west, 
central U.S. with temperatures here that could still be 10 to 15 degrees above long-term averages. I mean, this is you know, this is truly ironic to see. And here's a deterministic forecast showing you that temperatures, whole different ball game. All right. So looking at now your temperatures for the morning hours. Yes, it is going to be really cold if you're in Iowa for Saturday morning. This is the 20th of January. And then temperatures do warm up, but not very much. Going to stay in the negative territory, the single digits. But that's going to be the last bit of cold air you actually see. Because watch this, it's going to really start warming up. Maybe some colder air re being reinforced up there in, uh, say, Minnesota for early next week. But once that departs, you could say goodbye to much of the colder temperatures. I mean, technically it is going to be cold in some degree, right? I mean, but versus the single digits in negative territory, this is going to feel like, ah, this feels good. Right, so you can see temperatures uh, anywhere between the mid 40s in some locations to as warm or to as cold maybe as the low 30s. No single digits in the forecast. You have to go up there towards say Hudson Bay to find that. And then look at this, perhaps by the end of the forecast, Montana, are you kidding me? Upper 50s, maybe low 60s during the day after seeing temperatures literally as cold as negative 40. Huge contrast, big contrast. And I look at this, even up across the upper Midwest, gonna see some really warm temperatures. So definitely a big pattern change is coming. No more cold Arctic outbreaks after the early part of next week. Get the tank tops out and get outside because it's definitely going to be warmer. Even the Climate Prediction Center agrees with my forecast. This is the next ten to, uh, 6 to 10 days, I should say. Definitely warm across California, but look at this. I mean, oh, wow. If you are in Pennsylvania, if you're in Ohio, 90 to 100% chance you're going to see temperatures above average. That means it's going to happen. In the next 10 days, you are very likely, absolutely, e extremely likely to see temperatures above normal. All the way into this deep south here, seeing some very warm temperatures. If we go across California, you have an 80 to 90% chance of seeing temperatures above average. So really, really warm. In fact, my area, our average temperature, let's just say this, our average temperature in late January is right around 56 to 57 degrees. Okay, the forecast temperature by the end of January potentially for our area could be in the low to mid 70s. How about that? Very warm for my location. Don't ever see that very often. Might see temperatures at least 15 to 20 degrees above normal. Something that we will have to monitor closely. Looking at the precipitation anomalies, definitely a very warm and very wet one for the southeast and for the Gulf Coast states. Because of El Nino, we can blame El Nino for that, folks. But anyways, if you did enjoy today's detailed weather forecast discussion for January the 18th on this fantastic Thursday, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. You guys are really awesome. We're getting closer to 20,000 subs, so thank you for the support. Also, hit the like button if you haven't liked my videos yet. The more likes we get, the more shares we get the more likely the YouTube algorithm is likely to be triggered and likely to recommend this to a bigger audience. So if you guys absolutely love what I do, please share, like, and subscribe. And also be sure to check out the Discord server. It is weather. Um, it is actually weather force. This is the server. If you all are interested in joining it. Okay. Um, there will be a link in the description below this video. And we already got a few new people in there. So thank you, new people, for joining the Weather Force Discord server. Sorry if I'm not in there a lot. I will be in there a lot more today talking with you all because you guys are awesome. All right? Love you guys. Also, one last announcement is I do have a new YouTube channel. No, I'm not leaving my main channel. Don't think that I'm leaving. This is a localized YouTube weather channel for only for people that live in the Central Valley from Merced points north to Redding, also for the foothills of the Sierra, including the mountains like Lake Tahoe, Truckee, Quincy. So this is my second YouTube channel that I've launched. I will be uploading 
A lot. Still, a lot. And I swear, folks, a lot on my David Schlotthauer channel. I'm not leaving that one. I'm going to be focusing on two different channels now instead of one. So that way I cover in more detail on the uh, viewers that would like to see my localized forecast in the Sacramento area since that's where I live and, you know, got to connect with loyal viewers. So if you guys are interested in subscribing and supporting my second YouTube channel, please be sure today by subscribing. There will be a link in the description below this video. But again, one last reminder, I am not leaving. I am not leaving my main channel and I will be uploading on that as often as I can. Whereas on the second side of things, I'll also be doing uploads on my second channel. Now, with that all being said, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with you more on Saturday with another detailed weather forecast.